Laser Draw is a graphic software especially designed to work with laser machines. To run a laser draw, you need to have a SoftDog, and SoftDog is a software key which is provided in the toolbox, and you can see it in this picture. Uh, you could use laser draw in two different ways. One is as a virtual printer, and this way uh, you can just uh, transfer your uh, your uh, graphic information or even uh, simple text from any software. Uh, like uh, Corel Draw, Adobe Illustrator, or much simpler software like Word or Excel, and then simply print it into the uh, laser draw environment. The other way is to just use laser draw as a graphic software and do the, your design in the in the laser draw using uh, the simple uh, drawing tools, or you can import some um, already designed uh, graphic files. Uh, in other type, uh, type of software which are which is more comfortable for you like Corel Draw and then import it into the software as a DXF format for line draw or bitmap format for uh, for pixel format files and then from there transfer to the laser machines no first of all you can we can just uh, explain quickly how to use it uh, uh, how to use a laser draw as um, a virtual printer the first thing you need to do is to run the software just by double clicking the uh, shortcut on the desktop and then you can minimize the software screen and just notice the minimized uh, icon on the lower pane and then you just open your software uh, and open your file and click on print and select laser draw printer among your printer list print and then after that notice the orange blinking on laser draw mini icon and then you can you can maximize the laser draw software and draw your graphics and your information already transferred to the laser draw and then here you can just do some uh, extra modification you need then sub your uh, laser parameters and then transfer to the machine which will explain more details later on uh, so uh, in order to learn uh, how to use the functions which is uh, already included in the laser draw and how to transfer the file to the machine and how to set up the parameters you can uh, start from a simple blank screen in this screen you can see a coordinate. these coordinates will be changed according to your machine size then you have some drop down menu here just a standard with every kind of uh, for uh, and then you have some uh, shortcut uh, icons here on top and left it's mostly they they can be found also uh, in the drop down menu as well and then you have some color uh, layer color here where you can select your uh, color layers and then you have a, a window for the for a, your layer list and some control, control buttons here uh, one thing is very important to know is uh, these control buttons except for up down all compute and download the rest of them uh, they are available on the keypad on the laser machine and it's not suggested to use these control buttons from software because uh, it could be dangerous or it could be uh, you could just simply uh, damage the laser head uh, by controlling the movement from here uh, then from in this software you can use some simple drawing tools here you can just use some uh, mirror tools, rotation tools, uh, size tools, and uh, other uh, just uh, uh, standard tools you can usually find also in uh, some other uh, uh, graphic design software. Or you can just bring and uh, import the designed uh, graphics uh, from other softwares. For that, you just have to export your uh, graphics software from the other software to the DXF or bitmap format for pixel format and then import it into the laser draw 
for that we can just use file import and we have some files which is already done in some other softwares and we save it here we have a, a DXF format this is for basically line draw and cut line uh, traces import it bring it into the laser draw like that then you can import also uh, other type of format and then here we have a bitmap format and here we have a blank or already DXF format which is uh, already uh, uh, imported into the laser draw then there are some tools for changing modification of this uh, already designed format to just uh, made uh, make it uh, uh, more suitable for our design we can use uh, size tool here we have a size and then uh, we have uh, uh, X and Y we can change the size both of uh, both coordinates or we can change one coordinate and then click on the small square on the right side of the numbers to just make it proportional uh, uh, size change so in this case we use 120 and 150 for this uh, frame and then we select our uh, graphic format uh, our picture for uh, format file and then the size it to 100 and this in this case we just click on the other uh, square to just make it proportional we have uh, some alignment tools here uh, which can use it later so we just uh, use a uh, text tool we write something Marilyn here and we use the uh, the font and then as you can see these are all individual curves in order to just uh, uh, move them together we can select all of them we can click on this icon to group them and then once we select a part of it we can uh, all of it uh, all of the group uh, graphics will be selected and then we can just change the size here again again we can make it to 70 and proportional to the other side and then we have uh, alignment tools we can select all of the uh, graphic parts and then um, just align them vertically or uh, yeah vertically like that and then what we have here we have only one single layer what we can do we can just uh, uh, transfer these different part of the graphic which uh, requires different laser processing to different layers simply select it and click on the one of these other colors that will really transfer to the other another layer and you can see two different layers here and then uh, uh, there is another uh, tool it's an offset tool you can select this uh, frame we want to just do some sort of uh, double frame so we just click on offset here and then we do outer seven millimeter and here you are we have another frame and we have another layer as well so we need to just do writing and the image so we have to change the cut to engrave and then for blue line we just need only a single a single line marking so we keep it in the cut mode but the sequence is uh, not correct we have to engrave first then cut so we select engrave we take it up and then it goes like engrave first the blue line second and the cutout third so for setting the parameters for the laser we double click on the numbers uh, here we have 425.07 so that is a speed for uh, raster engraving uh, that's a power for a percentage of power speed is in millimeter per second 
and then the scan gap is a distance between two adjacent scan lines so the, the lower scan gap defines higher DPI uh, 0 0.07 0 0.1 is usually good for most of uh, applications depending on the size you can change that there is blow and bi-directional blow is an air assist uh, it will be it, it is suggested to use the blow for most applications and uh, bi-directional also works for most of uh, engraving unless you know just um, <coughs> Uh, do a very fine uh, small fonts engraving which uh, uh, you could use single direction and then just press ok and then we go for a cut we have a speed power corner power and overlap speed again is a millimeter per second for moving the head and then power is a percentage of power and corner power is the power which we could use when uh, when the laser head turning on the corners since the, it uh, slows down automatically so it's better to use a lower power in order to prevent from over burning the corners uh, so in this case we usually use like a 50 percent of the uh, selected power here which uh, now we have a, a 30 as a power and then we use it 15 as a corner power as you can see this is a setting for the blue line and then uh, since we, we just want to have some sort of like a very light marking uh, we just use a very high speed 100 which is a very high speed for cutting and then uh, then uh, we have a lower power 30 and the corner power 15 and we use always blow and this has to be always blow or blow y laser and we should always use air assist activated uh, with selecting either of these two options and never select not below for cutting and press ok and then finally the uh, setting for cutout which is uh, the green line this is uh, speed power so we need lower speed to cut through and we need higher power as well and the uh, corner power also will be uh, change according to our power which will be 40 and uh, overlap is just a uh, it just a uh, uh, overlap between the starting point and the ending point and for most thin objects we use it as a zero and then <coughs> we set up all the parameters here we could uh, just uh, save it fi uh, as some file format which is a standard format we just don't need it to do anything we just select as a name Marilyn or whatever but uh, in order to uh, see the, this same file name on the uh, laser machine screen we need to use only eight characters or maximum eight characters uh, without any uh, special symbols so we save it then we can simulate it with this uh, shortcut and we can see how the engraving uh, will go uh, after uh, we transfer the file into the laser machine and you can see all the engraving parts in the red color and then you can just uh, uh, have some estimate for time value uh, for a working time uh, this is a clock thing which is here we click on that it just goes to work time estimate of nine minutes this is accurate plus uh, minus 10 15 percent and then we have uh, some sort of uh, starting point which is this blue color this is a starting point with respect to the graphic it doesn't have anything to the position of the graphic so position of the graphic have will uh, will be followed exactly the same position on the uh, uh, on the coordinates as long as we keep this immediate unchecked so that means if you want to follow the coordinates you have to always make this immediate unchecked if you make this immediate checked so it goes like a relative positioning and uh, you could just do the job on any uh, location on the working table as long as it fits into the working table to change the starting point which is this blue one you just have to click on this icon and then uh, you, 
here is center top so already there so you can change it to three different uh, nine different uh, uh, options we change it to the right top corner the position a graphic in inside the coordinates we can select the whole uh, graphic and pr uh, press on space bar on the keyboard and then we can just simply enter some value in the coordinates 300 and 300 apply and it will change the same coordinates uh, which we selected so the center uh, will be 450 and 300 and it goes to the center of the work table so you could change the position by just simply selecting the graphic and uh, click on the space bar so we did all the setting required for that and then um, uh, we already saved it we can save it again then especially for for uh, some sort of uh, like old file you know, open it and you want to just change some uh, parameters or some part of the graphic if you want to just uh, uh, before transferring the file to the machine it's better to press this compute this compute it just make uh, it just uh, affect all the changes you did uh, after opening the file so it's better to just compute the file to make sure first of all there is no error and then all the changes has been affected and then you just uh, connect uh, uh, your laser machine to your computer and make sure it's connected directly and uh, just click on download and then from here in the, this window you can see all the files which is already the memory of uh, the laser machine and then you can click on download current this file is already there you can we want to replace it yes and it will be downloaded compiled and downloaded and you can see it in the laser machines screen So thank you for your time and uh, that's it for a quick review of uh, laser drop